Large Hadron Collider should learn from Facebook, or how physics gains insight from interconnectivity. If look, looked up close, impressionist paintings can appear as a disconnected set of paint blotches. But when seen from a distance, the same painting acquires meaning, and one sees the emergent patterns, such as the lakes and the trees. In colloquial terms, when this happens, we say that the total is more than the sum of its parts. In science, we call this emergent behavior, which is defined as when a system composed of independent parts forms more complex behaviors as a collective and exhibits properties which the individual components themselves do not have. We're familiar with examples of this in biology and in social networks. Take, for example, the concept of popularity. We need a large community of people for the actual uh, concept to exist. Another example is traffic, where we need a large number of cars for it to form a traffic jam. The important thing about these phenomena is that we could not understand them by simply focusing on the independent behavior of each component. In essence, connectivity arises only when there's a large number of particles in a system and when the interaction between all those parts generates new properties. You may ask, why is this important for physics? And I tell you, there's a tendency in physics to go the other way, to divide things into smaller and smaller components so that we can understand them. The thought is that by understanding how each part behaves, we'll be able to understand the whole collective system. Particle accelerators, such as the LHC, are trying to understand the nature of the entire universe by studying tiny subatomic particles and how they interact with each other. Much of physics today is concerned uh, by explaining how the main four forces, such as electro electromagnetism, the strong, the weak, and the gravity forces, can all fit into one theory of everything. But perhaps, when one looks too close, much of what is there disappears. We have examples of emergent behavior in physics, such as rigidity of glasses, much like the glasses where you drink your water from. A few molecules of the same material would be a fluid, but a large number of those molecules undergo a radical phase transition and form a rigid solid. Another example is superconductivity, which is the effect when electrons travel with no resistance. This could provide us, by the way, with very inexpensive electricity one day in the future. Superconductivity is essentially an emergent phenomena, and if one studies particle by particle, the phenomena disappears. It's a many-body problem. So my belief is that this emergent approach should be much bigger. Hopefully, it'll be as popular as the LHC on Facebook one day. So this brings us back to our original question. Can physics learn something from the social networks? I think the answer to that is yes. But that leaves us with an even more complex question. Would physicists ever admit to the fact that they can learn something from the social sciences? Now that would truly be an emergent behavior. Thank you.